With the hot summer temperatures across our state and the world, a team of scientists and volunteers now trying to learn more about where the hottest parts of our city are. Fox 13 News reporter Michael Lee Gooby drove around town with volunteers collecting that data. There's an old saying that you can't manage what you don't measure, and I think today is first steps in establishing those baselines. Volunteers picked up a probe, put it on their car, and were assigned a specific route to drive through. We were assigned um, the, the third route, which incorporated uh, the Fair Park and Rose Park neighborhoods of Salt Lake City, and so we drove around for an hour. This device in Chris and Roxanne's car measures the temperature and humidity every second, yeah, and the GPS good. tracker maps it out. Oh, yeah. Allows cities to map the distribution of heat on a hot day in the summer. Program coordinator Rob Wilson explains that teams drive the same 10 routes at three different times of the day. So we'll be able to compare those routes um, to each other because they're sampled at the same time of day. And then we'll be able to compare um, how the temperatures change throughout the day because we're doing the same routes at different times. The cool time of day, the hottest time of the day, and then it's starting to cool down it's seven to eight. The goal is to find patterns that make certain areas hotter than others and come up with solutions. We'll identify those hottest areas and then try to find ways um, that we can <laughs> cool them down or otherwise find relief for the people who live in and use those areas. So it might be planting trees, it might be um, tearing up concrete, um, maybe an opportunity for a splash pad, maybe there's a need for a cooling center. I hope that we learn where we need to send resources, so like which areas um, have more heat gain and then implement mitigation and help that area. Rob says having volunteers makes the project feel more like a community effort. It's been very eye-opening, um, so we're glad that we stepped up. Experts will start getting the data back in about six to eight weeks with maps and figures. In the long term, the city and community councils can use the analysis to guide design and infrastructure decisions. I think if everybody's a little more aware and participating, I think we'll have big changes. In Salt Lake City, I am Maithili Gubi, Fox 13 News, Utah.